is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation. Yogi Steve, ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. It feels like it's been a while since I've delivered that line, right? It's been a while since I made a video. I thought I would take advantage of this moment with all the babies sleeping and resting to shoot this intro. So today is just going to be a personal vlog. I'm going to give you an update on where I'm at personally, uh, my plans for the channel, and how I plan to over the next couple of weeks to get myself back on the scooter and then probably in two or three weeks start doing deliveries again. I'm really excited to get back to work. Believe me, I am bored as hell. Uh, I really miss shooting and editing videos every day. So once the channel gets back into action, my first goal is just going to be to be prolific. I think in my first month of work, I'm going to be very conservative with how many hours I work because I'm really not sure how my collarbone and this injury is going to feel as I get back to work. But I've been rehabbing my injury by myself since the doctor gave me permission to start stretching it and doing light resistance work. I've been really consistent with this rehab that I'm doing for my collarbone. I'm not walking around in pain. I'm feeling pretty good. I think I'm going to be able to get back on the scooter no problem. But I do want to spend at least a couple of weeks, spend at least a few hours riding the scooter sort of around the neighborhood so I can see what it feels like. I'm not sure how many hours I'm going to be able to work before this starts bothering me. I feel like this is going to get better over time. It's only been broken now for about three and a half months. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work out a little bit. Uh, I'll show you my sort of my rehab routine very quickly. I know it's boring to most of you guys. What's up, baby? You're awake. And then we're going to bust out the Dualtron Ultra 2. Luckily, like last month, we already did a once over on it and we're going to jump on it and we're going to start riding for the first time since the accident. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions. Help me get the channel rolling again, guys. I'm really excited to get him back to work and start pumping out videos. Here we go. This is the workout I'm doing to rehab my upper body. I haven't lifted for three months. This might look like a lot of work, but I'm not doing anything with more than 25 pounds. I'm doing push-ups here, but I'm only doing like five push-ups. So I'm doing a lot of basic stuff, a lot of mobility stuff, a lot of bodybuilding stuff, but it feels really good to be getting back to working out. I mean, my life is not complete without exercise. I love swinging the mace, I love moving the dumbbells. I'm doing some very light lateral work here. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, look at me, I don't look that bad even though I'm about 10 pounds overweight for sure. I always get tons of questions about safety gear, so let me show you what I'm putting on right now. You can buy this on Amazon. It's a pretty cheap, like, chest and elbow and shoulder and back protector. I'm not sure how effective it is, but obviously as I go back to work after this accident, I'm gonna be wearing more gear than I usually do. And I've never really found elbow pads that work for me very well, but if you set these straps properly, this vest fits pretty good. I love the Liat line of shin guards. I have their elbow pads as well, but like I said, they don't really fit that well. And this is my new Troy Lee helmet that I'm going with. I like that a lot as well. And these gloves are, you can find these all over Amazon with different names on them. These are called Kemimoto, but you'll look at the pictures. They're all pretty much the same. They're pretty generic. They're pretty cheap, like 25 bucks. So that's the setup. Chest protector, shin protector, good helmet, upgraded helmet, and gloves. Now let's put it on. Um, yeah, I'm making a video of me uh, getting on the scooter for the first time since the day of the accident. Well, that's awesome. So what are you? So what are you on now? What are you taking? The Ultra Two? Yeah, of course. And I, you know, I, I did like a safety check on it. I checked every nut, bolt, and screw. I checked the brakes. I checked the tires. Everything seems fine. It's been rainy and wet here for what feels like almost a month in Hollywood, but finally it's sunny out and the ground looks pretty dry. I mean, I'm not really nervous about getting back on the scooter. Maybe just a little bit sort of excited but i have all the settings dialed down let's see what happens so i know i'm comfortable with this helmet it's a lot heavier and thicker than the helmet that i got into my accident with the bell super air probably saved my life but uh, i like this helmet it's pretty comfortable for how big it is and my peripheral vision is pretty good on it
first couple minutes back on the scooter it feels pretty good i mean you got to respect what this machine can do i have everything dialed down to the slowest settings and it's still pretty fast but all right i'm just going to ride around the neighborhood a little bit so the shoulder blade the collarbone the whole injury area feels pretty good so i'm definitely very happy about that that was pretty fun oh now I'm gonna make uh, some food and walk the dogs so nice out now we're getting a quick dog walk in there's Max of course there's Pitbull other Pitbull come on Ripley come on uh, I guess I didn't really do that much today it's already like 5 30 and now I'm just gonna go out and get dinner somewhere. So I'll take you to dinner. I really wanna get something different for dinner tonight. I'm supposed to be cooking for myself. I just didn't feel like it. So we're gonna go to the mall here, Hollywood and Highland Mall. I've never eaten here for, for the channel, whatever that means. I haven't been here for so long, I don't even know what well, restaurants are in here, but I bet you there's something semi-decent in here we can get for dinner. Plus there's a Cold Stone Creamery in here. If I wanna go crazy for dessert, really cheat on the diet, we can get that. So welcome to Hollywood and Highland. We could eat at Johnny Rockets if we want, there's nobody in here. Wow, it's fucking sad. This place is empty, completely empty. At least I get good service. Here's Cold Stone, and there's nobody in here either. I mean, these places look like they're closed. This is a ramen place here, which I'm not gonna eat at. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat in this mall. Everything looks so fucking sad. Uh, now I'm back on the boulevard trying to figure out where the hell I'm gonna go to eat. How you doing, buddy? Can I get a pepperoni slice and a Coke? This actually used to be my go-to pizza place before Joe's opened up. I mean, it's it's pretty good. The slices are big. You're not gonna believe. You're not gonna believe that it. it cost me thirteen dollars for a slice, like a big slice with pepperoni and a drink. Thirteen dollars and change, insanity. Fifteen percent from three. That pizza was about as mediocre as I remember it. Uh, so now we're gonna go home. We're gonna try to skip getting junk food at Target. Try to at least, uh, you know, not go totally off the diet. What's the big deal? A slice of pizza and a soda. We just got to avoid buying ice cream now, but we got to go home. I'm gonna shoot the outro under this light because I know the lighting, I know the GoPro does not handle the dark very well. Alrighty guys, thanks for following along. It was a pretty uh, boring day. Delivery videos are gonna be coming back, but it's probably gonna be about two, maybe three more weeks. But it was great to get back on the scooter today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, ask questions, talk to me, you know I'll talk back. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time.